ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang ating brain workout for this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Clyde is a student of UP Diliman. He is currently studying theoretical physics. His hobbies are playing flag football, watching anything with good reviews, and playing the bass guitar. Sunod naman, Philip is a statistics student of UP Diliman. His hobbies are watching movies, listening to music, and reading The Wandering Inn. He also listens to Taylor Swift and Anson Zebra. Up next, we have Hannah. Hannah is a BS mathematics student of UP Diliman. She loves making art and playing instruments, and her other hobbies include playing tabletop games and listening to music. And finally, we have Paolo. Paolo is a chemistry student from UP Diliman. In his spare time, he loves to play board games and listening to K-pop groups like Stray Kids and Mamamoo. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, we have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Ben Vallejo of the UP Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology. At ngayon, contestants, hawa ko na ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. The Great Pyramid of Giza can be found in what African country? Paolo. Uh, Egypt. Egypt is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Which singer released the single It's Good to Be Young in 2023 or 10 years after recording her mega hit Wrecking Ball? Paolo. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What number is twice the sum of six and eight? Paolo. 28. 28 is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Which eight-legged insect-like creature that has a sting at the end of its tail has a constellation and zodiac sign after it? Sa Paolo. Scorpion. Scorpion is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What object may refer to a carpenter's tool for driving nails or weapon of Norse god Thor? Hannah. Hammer. Hammer is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What term from the Greek words for half the skull means a headache that can cause severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, usually on one side of the head? Slide. Migraine. Migraine is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What domestic fowl is used as the symbol of thanksgiving and is often feasted? Paolo. Turkey. Let me continue with the question. It's often feasted upon during this American holiday. The answer, correct answer is turkey. Okay, check. Question number eight. On what island can you find Bacolot and Dumaguete? Paolo. Negros. Negros is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. The border road at Niagara Falls was closed in November 2023 because a car exploded in one of the bridges. Niagara Falls is located between the United States and what other country? Paolo. Canada. Canada is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. What word meaning a building for gambling is the title of a Robert De Niro Sharon Stone film? Anna. Casino. Casino is correct. Paycheck. Question number 11. Which free-swimming, bell-shaped sea creature is locally known as Dikya? 
Paolo. Squid? Squid is mali. Anyone can steal. Clyde. Jellyfish? Jellyfish is correct. Kate check. Last question for this round. Number 12. The fish flounder is the best friend of which Disney princess? Paolo. Ariel? Ariel is correct. Kate check. And that ends our first round. So after that round, let's do a recap of their scores. We have Paolo with 80 points, Hannah and Clyde tied at 20, and Philip, pwede ka pang humabol sa ating next round. Before we continue, I'd like to welcome back, of course, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and also we'd like to welcome Professor Ben Vallejo for joining us on today's panel of experts. So, Professor Ben, nakita mo na in action ng mga contestants natin. Kamusta naman ang mga hinanda ninyong tanong for them? Kayang-kaya nila sagutin yun. <laughs> okay, kayang-kaya. <laughs> yun. So, yun contestants sa mukhang kayang-kaya ninyong sagutin lahat ng mga questions si Sir Ben mamaya. And of course, our other judges later on. Kaya naman magkakaalaman tayo sa pagbabalik ng Gate Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng kanilang mga points. Paolo has 80 points. Hannah and Clyde ay tied with 20 points. And si Philip, pwede pang humabol sa ating mga next rounds. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, napansin ko lang na today, medyo puro sciences ang kurso ng mga contestants natin. Si Clyde, theoretical physics. Stat naman si Philip, math si Hannah, and chem si Paolo. Pero kasi ang question sa atin dito sa K-Check, Iba-ibang disiplina. We even have pop culture. So, paano na yan? Kaya nyo bang humabol sa pop culture at sa ibang mga disciplines? Clyde, what do you think? Well, I guess so. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Ikaw, Philip? Kaya yan. Kaya yan, kaya? <laughs> Ana? Marami naman po akong hobby, so kaya kaya. Paolo? Tambay naman po ako sa social media. Kaya... Social media talaga ang basis natin. Thank you so much. Very updated nga kayo. Masusubukan natin kung talagang well-rounded ang kaalaman nyo dahil nandito na tayo sa round 2. For this round, each correct answer is worth 20 points and incorrect answers get a 10-point deduction. Let's begin. Question number 1. What planet in the solar system has 6 rings? 14 known moons and is farthest from the sun. Paolo. Neptune. Neptune is correct. KJ. Question number two. What is the name of the highest mountain range in the Philippines which stretches from Ilocos in Cagayan in the north to Pangasinan in Nueva Vizcaya in the south? Paolo. Sierra Madre. Sierra Madre is Male. Philip. Cordillera. Cordillera is correct. Key check. Question number three. In basketball, which member of the LA Lakers became the NBA's all time regular season scoring leader in February 2023? Clyde. LeBron James. LeBron James is correct. Key check. Question number four. Who was the governor of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas from 2019 to 2022 before being named as Secretary of the Department of Finance? The correct answer is Benjamin Diokno. Question number five. What do you call the scientific study of the properties, distribution, and effects of water on the Earth's surface in the soil and underlying rocks and in the atmosphere. The correct answer is hydrology. Question number six. What Spanish TV series about a bank robbery became a streaming hit? Anna. Money Heist. Let me continue. Streaming hit and had a Korean adaptation in 2022. The correct answer is Money Heist. K-check. Question number seven. What do you call an optical phenomenon, especially in a hot road or desert, 
by which the image of some object... Paolo. Mirage. Let me continue. Some object appears displaced from its true position. The correct answer is Mirage paycheck. Question number eight. In what city can you find the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa? Paolo. Dubai. Dubai is correct. Paycheck. Question number nine. In music. What musical sign indicates that a note should be raised in pitch by a half step? Light. Sharp. Sharp is correct. Paycheck. <coughs> Question number 10. In what sport did Max Verstappen of the Netherlands become world champion from 2021 to 2023? Hannah. F1. F1 or Formula One car racing is correct. Paycheck. Question number 11. The Pahiyas is a very colorful harvest festival held annually in the town of Lukban. In what province can you find Lukban? Paolo. Quezon Province. Quezon Province is correct. Key check. Last question for this round, number 12. In physics, what term refers to the study of how air flows over and through objects and the forces generated by the flow? Hannah. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is correct. Key check. Right, so recap tayo ng inyong mga points. Leading si Paolo with 150 points, followed by Hannah with 80 points, Clyde with 60 points, and Philip with 20 points. Up next, ang pinakinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa Gate Check. Welcome back everyone. Recap muna tayo ng mga points ng ating contestants. Paolo is leading with 150 points, followed by Hannah with 80 points, Clyde with 60 points, and si Philip with 20 points. So in the lead man, si Paolo. May chance pa rin lahat mga contestants natin na humabol dahil tayo ay papasok na sa ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol. Dito, Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And let's begin. We'll start our first question from Sir Neil. Para sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, which of the following was sought by the Americans from the Philippine government to facilitate the passage of the Tidings Rehabilitation Act that provided $620 million in aid after the end of the Second World War. A, extension of free trade arrangements. B, granting of parity rights to the Americans after independence. C, implementation of a Philippine foreign policy aligned with American interests. D, utilization of military bases in the Philippines free of rent, E, annexation of Guam as a federal territory. Philip. D, utilization of military bases in the Philippines free of rent. Bale. Anyone can steal? Paolo. C, implementation of a Philippine foreign policy aligned with American interests. Bale. B, granting of parity rights to the Americans after independence. Okay. Ito ang magbibigay sa mga Amerikano na patuloy na may pantay na karapatan sa paggamit ng likas yaman at pagpasok sa mga piling negosyo. Ang tamang sagot ay B, granting of parity rights to the Americans after independence. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Prof. Blessy. Okay. Usapang lugar. Okay. At halaman. <laughs> Para mag-relax kayo. Okay. <laughs> Ang halamang ito ay kilala bilang ipangalan ng isang busy street sa Quezon City. 
Its scientific name is Muraya paniculate or paniculate and is sometimes called orange jasmine. What is the name of this plant? A. Kamuning B. Santan C. Halimuyak D. Cosmos and E. Sampagita Paolo, A. Kamuning Ang lugar na ito ay kilala bilang daluyan ng mga jeep at ang isang palengke ay ipinangalan dito at kilala bilang bilihan ng mga tela. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Kamuning. Salamat. Correct answer. That's K-check. K-check. Okay, thank you. Next, Prof. Ben. Ang uh, katulungan nito tungkol sa ating solar system. Okay. So, ang, unang tan- ang tanong ko ay, uh, roughly how long does it take for the sun's light to reach the Earth? So, A, 10 minutes. B, 8 minutes. C, 1 hour. D, 30 minutes. And E, 15 minutes. Paolo, B, 8 minutes. Yung patama, okay, it takes about... 8 minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. Okay, check. Okay, check. Up next, Prof. Neil. Who was the first Philippine president to file an electoral protest after he lost his re-election bid? A. Carlos Garcia B. Diosdado Macapagal C. Sergio Osmeña D. Elpidio Quirino E. Manuel Rojas Clyde. B. Diyos na dumakapagal. Bale. Yung sagot kanina, siya ang tumalo sa Pangulong ito. Sikat ang Pangulong ito para sa Filipino First Policy. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Carlos Garcia. Salamat. Up next, Prof. Glessy. Okay. Usapang dula. He was a famous character in Aurelio Tolentino's play, Kahapon Ngayon at Bukas, who epitomized the Tagalog freedom lover. What is the name of this famous character? A. Tagailog B. Lamang Lupa C. Dahumpalay D. Malay Natin And letter E. Diwa So, no answer. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, si Tagailog. Siya yung hero na kilikilala bilang tagapagtanggol ng kalayaan. Thank you. Prof. Ben, your question please. Ang tanong na to ay tungkol sa mga nakalipas na kaligiran or past environments. Okay. The cold Pleistocene was followed by what geological epoch? A. The Eocene B. The Holocene, C. The Miocene, D. The Anthropocene, and E. The Pliocene. Uh, mula 10,000 years ago, biglang uminit ang klima at natunaw ang yelo ng Pleistocene epoch. Uh, ang tabang sagot dyan ay the Holocene. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question please. What is the world's safest country when it comes to the dangers of natural disasters? A. Bahrain B. Qatar C. Singapore D. Uruguay E. Vietnam Namuhuna ng bansang ito sa public safety systems. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Qatar. Thank you, sir. Prof. Lessie, next question. Okay. Uh, usapang children's theater. Okay. She was known as the Grand Dame of Southeast Asian Children's Theater. 
in 1977, she founded a children's theater troupe named Teatro Mulat ng Pilipinas and wrote many children's plays. She was conferred the National Artist Award for Theater in 2018. Who was this well-known theater director, writer, puppeteer? Letter A, Amelia La Peña Bonifacio. Letter B, Andres Bonifacio. Letter C, Bonifacio Ilagan. Letter D, Amihan Bonifacio Ramolete. And letter E, Cecil Guidote Alvarez. Walang sagot. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, si Amelia La Peña Bonifacio. Siya ay dating teacher sa College of Arts and Letters. Ang prof, yes, hindi ba may theater named after her? Oo, oh, oh, yung teatrong mulat sa UP Village. Yes, yes. Punta tayo doon minsan. Punta okay. tayo doon. Next prof then. Okay, usapan sa geology. Okay, kung ano ang isla na pinakamatanda. Okay, so which Philippine island except Palawan is the most geologically old? Letter A, Mindanao. Letter B, Panay. Letter C, Tawi-Tawi. Letter D, Luzon. And letter E, Romblon. Philip, B, Panay. Ah, uh, mali. Anyone can steal it. Life. E, Romblon. Ah, uh, mali rin. Paolo. <laughs> C, Tawi-Tawi. Mali. <laughs> Subo ka na? Hindi na. Okay, wala. Okay, ah, uh, ang pinakamatandang isla ay Luzon. Kasi uh, yung pinakamalaki, mga 30 million years old na siya, sapat na panahon na para lumaki siya. So largest island natin, Luzon. Uh, so yun ang pinakamatanda, geologically. Thank you. Now we're off to the last set of questions for this round. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Uh, usapang politika. Okay. The partition of this local government unit into two provinces in 2022 was viewed by academics and media critics as an example of gerrymandering to avoid clashes between ruling political dynasties. A. Basilan B. Maguindanao C. Sulu B. Sambuanga Sibugay E. Tawi-Tawi Philip B. Maguindanao um, ang namamayaning mga dynasty ang political doon ay mga pamilyang Mangudadato at Sinsuat. At ang tingin nga ng mga kritiko at maging mga akademiko, ginawa ang pagbuo ng Maguindanao del Norte at Maguindanao del Sur bilang concession sa nabanggit na mga political families. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Maguindanao, K-Check. Prof. Lesson. Pop culture. Pangiti si Paolo. He was a theater artist who became famous as a film director. He won awards and accolades locally and internationally for his socially committed films such as In Siang, Tim Tinibangka Ngunit Kulang, Jaguar, Bayan Ko, and Ora Pronobis. Sino itong sikat na UP alumnos na ito? Letter A, Dino Broca. Letter B, Alison Morris. Letter C, Philip Salvador. Letter D, Roderick Paulate. And letter E, Lamberto Avellana. Paolo. Letter A, Lino Broca. Si Lino Broca ay kilala bilang isang theater artist tung kanyang kolehiyo bilang isang curtain riser. Bago siya naging bahagi ng sikat na grupong PETA at naging isang uh, direktor sa pelikula. Ang tamang sagot ay Lino Broca, K. Check. Thank you. Now we're off to our last question. Prof. Ben, go ahead. Hey, ito ay tanong sa, sa physics. No? Uh, in which medium does sound travel fastest? Letter A, air. Letter B, water. 
letter C, alcohol, letter D, a rod of steel, and letter E, wood. Clyde, a rod of steel po. Okay, sa mga metals kasi, mas mabilis talaga mag mag-travel ang sound, sound waves. Okay, check. Tama. At saan na po nagtatapos ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. And congratulations to Paolo, okay, our K-Check Daily Winner. Congratulations! Okay, makakasama natin si Paolo sa ating next episode on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din, of course, to Clyde, to Philip, to Hannah. Thank you so much for joining. And of course, to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and Professor Ben. Once again, I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another Day Check.